Make more Legacy of Kane, you fucks. Yeah, that's that's always a good way to start off a, a, a new video for the day. Just loudly complain about what's not being created. And speaking of not being created anymore, core design. Welcome, I am I am Matthew. You may, you may you may know me, and uh, today I'm doing doing something slightly different. I, I know no one asked for it, but it's time the end of the world, though, because we are playing Fighting Force, Elena, Hawk, Mace, Bad Boy for Life, and Smasher. This was Core Design's attempt at a 3D beat 'em up. And we will see why I say attempt. Yeah, the last time I played this, I wasn't really that um, enthused, enthralled, if you will. I, I, there's some good parts to Fighting Force. Even when I played it, and back when I played the last time I played this, I don't know, a couple of years ago, I was like, eh, I like this, I like that. I really don't like that. And I really don't like this, though. Um, but a lot of people have good memories of this. You know, I'll occasionally be, see someone say, like, you know, play Fighting Force or Fighting Force, what happened? There actually is a lot to say about this franchise, weirdly enough. Now, this is a pretty cool character select screen. We have Alana, who is the fast and weak hitting one. We have Hawk, the all arounder. We have Mace, the other all arounder. Now, these are very fun 90s edgy designs. I don't mind them at all. Mace here, it's, I don't know what that. Face seems to be supporting some type of texture. Can't really tell what's going on there. But she does have the Lita, you know, 2000s uh, 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 panty line, panty panties over on the hips, which everyone was into back in the day. I know I sure was. Do I want those back? Maybe. And then we have Ben Smasher Jackson. I don't know why I remember his name so vividly. Mace, I think her name, I forget her last name. Hawk's last name is Manson, part of the Manson family. And Alana, Alana McKenzie, something like that. I think I'll take Mace because at the end of the day, this is just Core Designs American Lara. I think there's even an image of her and, 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 and Alana and Lara like kind of being together in like a promotional render. I think Core was very proud of them. So what's weird about this game is that you start off in the last level. What's also weird about this game is where the fuck is the sound and music? That's weird. Maybe that's a recording issue, but thank you for dropping me off. My mom dropped me off first so I can do the beat em up brawling thing, but I gotta be home by eight. All right, the sound is back. Um, still no music, which is weird. I mean, this game had music, right? I don't know why you would create a beat em up that didn't. Oh, okay. I got I got judo throw, and that's about it. How do I? There, there's run. It's holding down a shoulder button, and that that awesome kick. Hey, that slide's not bad though. Uh, what we got here? One thing about this game that it, one of those things I do like is that they really try to do destruction. Well, ooh, hello, and lots of weapons. That's kind of what I'm talking about for a 3D beat 'em ups. It's one thing I always kind of like about them is that they really try to do a lot of like. You know, I'm going to reference this a bunch of times. Uh, Sega's Die Hard Arcade and um, uh, Dynamite Cop, Dynamite Deca, Mecha Deca, uh, is totally a thing. Hey, do you guys want to help over there? Just, just saying, help would be good. You can move the camera slightly in this. I do wish the camera be a slightly a bit more above. I think that would help. All right, how do I... I don't actually want to use this on this gate. All right, I guess I'm just going to have to do that because... You don't really have a jumping attack, it seems. Maybe, maybe it's some other motion. I guess I'll just slowly slide kick my way in. Oh, that's actually pretty. Oh shit! Uh, uh, hold on, boys. Oh, that's pretty cool. At least I didn't get hit by the rocket launcher. Oh! I hope my boss from up in the tower doesn't see me, punk. What's his fucking name? Is punk? He's a dude in a suit. Whoa! 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 Ah! Ah! <laughs> Why did that work? All right, let's tr let's try out my big ass special move. It's very special. Of course, it's a 3D beat em up, so they needed something that's always going to be 360 degrees. And I guess that's it. Here we have Z Corp, uh, part of the larger Z concern. 
Now I still see the missile launcher is kind of under there. Oh, I can blow this up though. Let's try that. Maybe another weapon will pop out. Oh my car. And I have to have a jump attack. I have to. Ow, Jesus! That that took some priority there. Again, what's with the music anyway? What? I don't care what happened with the music, so I'm just gonna put my own in. I mean, I'm playing this straight from a disc, so I I don't. If there is supposed to be tunes, and I can't think of many beat 'em ups that would not have music, it's kind of the a draw of the entire genre. Oh, that was a hard read. Holy shit, that was definitive. At least he can pick up stuff while I'm here. But not even like a fanfare for winning, huh? Cool, all right. I remember this section a lot. Uh, just I, I, for some reason, whenever I rented this, because I read Fighting Force 64 a lot, which I've heard is like a slightly better version, I think. Uh, I think graphically it's just a little bit cleaner and smoother because PlayStation 1, right? So um, there's that. And in general, like, even back then, I was kind of like, this was the game where I was like kind of forcing myself to be like, oh, cool, it's like a beat em up in 3D. Like, this is 1997 this game came out, which is incredible to me because Final Fight 3, oh, yeah, look at that swag, just drinking a soda right in front of y'all bitches. Uh, Final Fight 3 was in 96, and this is only a year later, which is an incredible fact. I don't know what that really is, it's just the evolution of the genre. Even though this isn't precisely that different, what we're doing here, is it? But the whole thing about the destruction is that you're able to pick stuff up. Now, you can't run while you're picking stuff up, which is kind of a problem. I get that it's a heavy CRT monitor, believe me, I understand. And this viewpoint, unfortunately, even though I have that weapon, I would kind of rather the, the camera follow you. That's why in, in Die Hard Arcade and, and Dynamite Cop and Asian Dynamite, the uh, third sequel, uh, it was always from like a side view and you always could actually see what you're doing at any given time. Like honestly, while I love Streets of Rage 4 and a lot of beat-em-ups that go back to the, the 2D style, I still think 3D beat-em-ups have a thing and there's plenty of examples. Like, the, not not only is there Die Hard, right? There's Zombie Revenge, also in the Dreamcast, and even you could say that like uh, uh, Jet Li Rise to Honor is basically a 3D beat 'em up, essentially. Um, and but I I still think the viewpoint, the three dimensions, has can actually do. It. Hell, I don't even mind the arcade mode of Final Fight uh, uh, Final Fight Streetwise. I mean, it's it's way too hard, and it goes on a little long, and it's not well balanced, but it's still actually kind of fun. Just shocking to me, really. All right, ammo five. Can I pick up more ammo? No, I can't. I cannot pick that up. Great. Well, I have a gun at least, and that is a big difference maker in the world of beta. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um. So, I, I, I kind of do think that, you know, if Capcom was to bring back Final Fight, or any sort of beat em up really, uh, and do like a brand new version or a sequel, I think you would give 3D a shot. It'd be different than every, what everyone else is doing, and you could certainly do it. I mean, everyone's so used to uh, Final Fight characters now being in 3D, versus, uh, you know, all the uh, Street Fighter games they've been in. and. Like those models exist, and there's there's experience there. It can be done. But enough about that shite. Let's talk Streets of Rage. Now, back in an old EGM, I remember seeing very vividly a screenshot of Streets of Rage 4 for the Sega Saturn. And uh, I'm sure some people know this, but I'm sure some people don't. That's this game. Core designer are actually working on Streets of Rage 4 for the Saturn. And the, the screenshot in question shows two characters on the screen, Snake and Hammer. And I remember seeing that screenshot and getting so fucking hyped. Like, you know, uh, Streets of Rage wasn't my favorite beat em up, but I was just, I, I still liked it a lot. And I was like, oh, okay, finally, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna do this. Uh, there's gonna be a brand new game, and like, I can't wait for this to be ushered into the new era of 3D gaming, like a, a classic beat em up. Cause there was no Final Fight on the horizon, so I was just like, yeah, 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 I can't wait. And now, I didn't know a single person that ever owned a Saturn, but I was still excited for it. And in some research that I've done, I'm almost, I'm almost thinking of maybe doing a video 
uh, about all the failed Streets of Rage uh, reboots and, and cancellations that Sega did. But Core Design were working on this and they, they were getting pretty far in. And then for some reason, uh, this is just maybe a rumor, I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's if there's some uh, actual facts or an interview to back this up. Nice, awesome. Uh, they started saying to Sega, well, we're going to port this to other consoles, so yeah, we'll get that running. And Sega's like, you're, you're, you're fucking doing what, mate? And they're like, oh, but, but yeah, we're going to put this on other consoles, right? And they're like, no, it's our IP and we're not going to give that away. And they just couldn't come to an understanding after that, even though that's pretty cut and dry. I don't know what core design were thinking. Again, if this is true, I'm not sure if it is. But I was just like, oh, okay, are you are you for real? Why would anyone think that? Oh, the axe is mine, and I love the axe. So that's the rumor, and then therefore they just turned the game into Fighting Force, what, what I'm playing in front of you today. And not only that, but the Saturn version never even came out. There is the PlayStation version, obviously. There's a 64 version, and there was going to be like an, a European version published by Eidos, and that never happened. I, I guess things got that salty between Sega and Core Design. And then after that, we're not done, folks. There, like, it's, there was going to also be a Streets of Rage 4 for uh, the Dreamcast. There's some video out there of it, of like a, a test build or something. And that's like, okay, I, I don't know the details on that version. Check out Slope's Game Room. I'm sure he's, he's, he's talked about it before. Wow! And that version didn't go anywhere either, which would have been, like, I, I maybe that got turned into Die Hard Arcade, or Dynamite Cop 1. I want to throw that away, thank you. Uh, and, and, and you'd think it would. Maybe it, maybe it did get turned into uh, uh, Die Hard Arcade. Maybe they thought it would sell better in the West? I don't know. Um, so after that got cancelled or turned into Die Hard, whatever it may be, after that... Uh, God, I think it was the developers of a Dead to Rights game, maybe Dead to Rights uh, uh, for the 360. They pitched a Streets of Rage reboot, whatever, that there's a big video of. Please stop blaring my horn. Blaring my horn. Please stop blaring that horn at me. There's no music, so I'm as well, I have my music here, but you know what I mean. So that pitch got canceled. Uh, you can see a video of it. Then I believe that Grin makers of Bionic Commando Hot Dog Arm Edition and uh, Wanted Weapons of Fate um, also pitched via concept art something to do uh, with Streets of Rage to Sega. I might have to look that up again to make sure that's accurate, but I, I distinctly remember reading that somewhere. So that's four cancelled Streets of Rage 4s. I mean, it all worked out in the end, but still, damn. But now we're just here. Holy shit! Whoa, sir! What the? Ah! <laughs> okay! Weird flex, but sure. Let's go, motherfuckers! Ah! This is actually pretty cool. What a fun level. Oh my god! How was I supposed to see that? Hey, God, I'm not even going to talk about Fighting Force 2. What a disappointment that is. Jesus, how many dudes are back there? I can clearly see there's none of you left. Okay, cool. This is a huge escalation. It's getting out of hand. Getting the f I can't. Okay, okay, no, wait. Where'd you guys come from? Is he throwing? Oh God, I thought he was throwing a stack of money at me. All right, let's switch it up to, oh Jesus. Is this, is this a fireman? Is that what this is implying? That is a PlayStation move if I've ever seen it. No! I have the axe. It's my power. It was made for me. And his name is just Driver. Like, like Ryan Gosling or the Ubisoft franchise. What are we doing? That was easy. Choose your route. I, I don't think anyone's ever played this far. Mall, the Bronx, or the park? Oh, I actually have to move in the direction, which is a little... That's fine. The park, how about? Oh, oh! Backbreaker! That's pretty cool. Let's get a better view of that. Oh, well, it's more like a gut wrench power bomb. Not not power bomb, but like a gut wrench backbreaker. Like it didn't look like I was actually hurting his back per se. 
Does he turn him at the last second? Maybe he does. Maybe I'm super wrong and stupid. I gotta get a destruction bonus. Okay, I can't actually. I can't destroy this park bench, really? It seems like the one thing I would be able to destroy. Alright, this park is getting, uh, très dangereux, là. It's nice that they just, whatever town we're in, there's no backstory to this, at least in-game. In I guess it's the instruction manual. Oh god, no! He's gonna run me over! <laughs> That's actually real fun. Okay, you may notice that there's there's been music for a little while, but that's me. I I, I had some music get added to this video because it's very strange uh, to, for video games to not add music. There must be something wrong with my disc. I can't imagine there's no music in the game. Would you forget? Oh god, that was rough. Uh, we're just in the subway now. Cool. That's yeah. Sure, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Public transportation should be free. Let me in. Now, please tell me I can throw guys in there. It's the ultimate power fantasy. Oh, come on. There's an invisible wall. We can't go in there. Oh, that's so disappointing. Like, what's the point of a subway stage in a video game if you can't throw guys in the fucking subway? Is that it, boys? I think we're good. Oh. Oh. So what are we gonna be fighting? Some type of subway hobo lord? Rat king? What? what? What do you got for me, fighting force? You haven't wowed me yet. Oh, there's the dude! He's... who is he? Exo Man o War. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I just alternate between the two and he doesn't know what to do. This is the epic fighting force gameplay y'all came to see. I'm taking my briefcase and gotta get to work! The naval base or the air base? Land or sea? I don't know. The air base? I can't run while I throw this around. Alright, finally. The Hawk versus Zeng, we will know. So yeah, Fighting Force 2, you were only Hawk, and it was basically like a bad MGS game. Like, there was some hand-to-hand -hand combat, but it was mostly stealth and shooting. And it was just like... As a beat em up fan, I'm just like, no, come on, ow, Jesus, dude, Sta stage cleared. There's got to be a second form, right? No, just no music, okay? Then the island base, whatever it was, whatever the plan was, get on on our our hover bikes. It's all destroyed, and <laughs> the weird UFO crumbles. <laughs> Shit. And spinning newspaper says <laughs> Zen jailed. Life sentence really won't well, seem like it was to life because he blew up. Oh, is he going to be shaking his fist going, oh, fighting force? Please tell me. There's no voice acting in this game at all, which is weird. Considering Core's other game, Tomb Raider had a lot of voice acting. Yep, now that's it, I guess. And here's some music, finally! What the hell? I don't understand. I, then it did play normally. It's just the game has no music. And this feels very unfinished. This feels like, a, you know, like an early beta. And, you know, a lot more polish could have been added. Um, and yeah, it, I, it's hard to really hate on it when it's one of like the earliest 3D beat-em-ups and it's just, it takes it too literal and there's not really a lot here. It's just a bit too clunky and a bit too slow to, you know, be, be something I could ever see going back to. It's like not a classic by any stretch, which is a shame. Now, I also read that Mark Silvestri and Top Cow Productions for additional character design and story. I, I guess. That explains why fucking Witchblade was, was in the thing. That's amazing, actually. I really, that's, I did not know that they had anything to do with this. But uh, that's Fighting Force. I hope any of you that really, really liked this game back in the day is not too offended by this. But like, I, I calls them as a season and, and this is not held up very well at all. There was supposed to be a third game. There's a little bit of a concept video out there, which is amazing to me. But uh, yeah, I... I, I, I kind of prefer Streets of Rage and Final Fight to this. 
and Sengoku and Die Hard and Dynamite Cop and AVP and Batman Returns on the Super Nintendo and pretty much every other beat em up compared to this. All right, so yeah, that that is that is Fighting Force. Any other beat em ups like this you'd like me to uh, take a spin, a punch through on the channel, let me know and I swear to God I'll find one. You, you probably think I can't, but I'm, I'm sure I'm up to the task.